My name is Chelsea Brandt, and I worked with Dr. Lori Scott to isolate antibiotic-producing bacteria of the genera Bacillus and Pseudomonas from an Iowa soil sample. This presentation is designed to accompany and explain the poster that is currently shown on the screen. Antibiotic resistance is a recent phenomenon that poses a significant challenge to healthcare and a significant threat to the human population. Of particular importance to this matter are the escape bacteria, which is an acronym for six highly antibiotic resistant pathogens. These strains cause about 15% of hospital acquired infections and are associated with high rates of mortality. The antibiotic crisis has prompted much scientific research into new methods of fighting infection, including bacteriophage therapy and combinations of antibiotics, but the discovery of new antibiotics remains crucial for the future of medicine. However, in 2013, the CDC published data that showed a decline in FDA approvals of new antibiotics throughout the years, further showing the dire need of research into new antibiotics. The Tiny Earth Project Initiative, or TEPI, is an international research network of students and professors which focuses on isolating antibiotic-producing bacteria from local soil samples with the hopes of discovering novel antibiotics. My research project was a project in collaboration with TEPI in which I collected a soil sample from a public park in Davenport, Iowa, and then isolated and identified soil bacterial strains. From my soil sample, I created a set of cereal dilutions that I plated on three types of solid media, LB auger, 10% TSA, and PDA. I then organized the colonies onto a master plate so that I could easily identify and keep track of them throughout the project. Next, I tested for antibiotic producing bacteria by plating each of the soil isolates on a spread plate of Bacillus subtilis and E. coli. Those colonies that produced a zone of inhibition or halo of no growth were determined to be antibiotic producers. Their antibiotic activity was confirmed by plating them against Bacillus and E. coli once again. The confirmed antibiotic bacteria were then subjected to PCR, to colony PCR and gel electrophoresis. DNA was excised from the gel and purified and sent to the University of Iowa for 16S rRNA gene sequencing. Finally, the data from the University of Iowa was, was run through the NCBI BLAST, an online bioinformatics database to determine the identity of the samples. Figure 2 from the poster shows the confirmation plates of the antibiotic producers. As you can see, CB7LB, CB718TSA, and CB7TSA exhibit clear halos against Bacillus, and only CB7LB shows a halo against E. coli. CB7LB and CB7TSA were selected for further analysis because they showed the biggest and clearest halos. Figure 3 from the poster shows the results of gel electrophoresis on CB7LB and CB7TSA. Lanes 2 and 3 show bands for CB7LB, and lanes 4 and 5 show bands for CB7TSA. Both samples show a band of DNA that is about 1,500 base pairs in size, which is consistent with the size of the 16S rRNA that we were aiming to isolate. Figure 4 shows the top 5 hits from NCBI BLAST, which indicate that CB7LB is of the genus Bacillus and CB7TSA is of the genus Pseudomonas. The exact species of the samples cannot be identified because there is too much variation between the top 5 hits without significant deviation deviance in the st statistics. So it can be concluded that my project isolated antibiotic producing strains of Bacillus and of Pseudomonas, which are both consistent with common types of bacteria found in soil. In future studies, the bioactive molecules should be identified and compared with existing data to see if we isolated a new antibiotic that could be developed into a clinically relevant antibiotic. Additionally, CB18-TSA should be taken through this process as it was found to be another confirmed antibiotic producer.